Are we all hackers? Do we have expert programming skills? Are we all geniuses in the cybersecurity career field? If you're watching this video, it's because you wanna find out the common things that people say about working in cybersecurity that aren't true. So I've been working in the cybersecurity career field for quite some time now, and if there's one thing that I've noticed, is that there's a lot of misconceptions that people have regarding the profession. Typically, these things are said by people who either don't work in cybersecurity or they're very early on in their career. Honestly, I've heard some of this stuff said by people who've been in the industry for several years, which is pretty scary, but that's a story for another day. As we go through these different statements, I'd love to hear in the comments if you've heard any of these or if you've heard others that aren't mentioned. All right, let's do this. We're gonna jump out of the gates with one that probably everybody has heard, and that's I wanna work in cybersecurity because I wanna hack. I think in general, when you hear this, you have to be cautious, especially with beginners. For starters, it's a great thing if something like hacking has made somebody curious about the career field. That means stop shutting people down right away that say this statement because you're causing unnecessary harm. The reality is that most jobs in cybersecurity deal very little, if at all, with hacking anything, at least as that individual job is concerned. The majority of hacking jobs are at consulting firms and they're used to perform penetration tests against organizations, but that's a very small percentage of the jobs that actually exist. Certainly very large organizations are gonna either have one person or a team that will perform internal penetration tests, but a smaller company's security department has a lot of other security tasks on their plate to accomplish, way before any penetration testing is performed. Additionally, compliance frameworks or regulatory requirements that call for penetration testing are gonna force you to use an external third party to actually meet controls. So hiring penetration testers internally is usually very low on the list of priorities. It's very obvious that the hacker craze has grown in popularity because of Hollywood movies, but it's not a reality of the profession. Misconception two is that you have to have an expert level of knowledge in programming to work in cybersecurity. This couldn't be further from the truth, and honestly, you might not even even need any programming skills to work in cybersecurity. My best guess of how this statement came to light was because people frequently associate cybersecurity with computer science, which is definitely very heavy in programming. If you think about how college or university degree programs have evolved, 20 years ago, there was basically only computer science for career paths like IT or anything related, despite not always needing the programming knowledge. Fortunately, for many of you out there, cybersecurity and computer science are two professions that are quite different most of the time. Now, don't take that as it's a bad idea to learn programming, scripting, or anything like that, because it can certainly be helpful either to perform code reviews or just to automate your own personal tasks but it's generally not a firm requirement by employers. In fact, I would say that I could have gotten through most of my career to this point without knowing coding. If I had worked other jobs than I did, well, maybe I would have had a stronger need, but I've been pretty successful. That brings up another important point, that depending on the jobs that you have, some of the requirements might vary, but that's natural with any career or profession. The next misconception is that you have to be a genius to work in cybersecurity. I can't even count the number of times that I've heard something along the lines of that statement. Maybe people think because technology has its own unique challenges and not everybody enjoys tinkering or just using a lot of different technologies, but it's certainly not the case. The reality is that if you're willing to put in the time and effort and not expect a miracle overnight, then you can find yourself a nice successful career in cybersecurity. Too often people are blinded by what seem to be the quick successes of a few people, then they get discouraged and they fall back to the idea that cybersecurity requires you to be a genius to be successful. It just takes time and effort, and you can learn nearly everything that you need to without superhuman abilities. The fourth misconception is that if you wanna work in cybersecurity, you have to start in the help desk or some other entry-level IT position. The truth is that there's people from all kinds of different backgrounds who work in cybersecurity, some with a traditional IT background, and some who dove in right from school or another profession. Over time, the hope by many people, including myself, is that our career field continues to become more diverse with different ways of thinking. This might be an unpopular belief, but traditional IT skill sets might not be the right fit for some of the jobs that are gonna develop in the future, and some of the jobs today don't even require that kind of background. You might not know this about me, but I don't have a traditional IT background. What I did have, though, was an interest and a curiosity in technology, along with the drive to learn as much as possible. I help people all the time on Cyber Training Pro to land jobs, and many of them don't have a traditional IT background either, so it can be done. You can sign up for coaching if you check out the link in the description or visit cybertrainingpro.com. The next misconception is that you're gonna have a six-figure income for your first job in cybersecurity. I literally cringe every time I hear this from a newbie or a YouTuber. Anybody who tells you this is basically lying to you. Does it happen? Sure, especially in very high cost of living areas 
or when somebody has a ton of skills that they bring to the table, but it's not the norm. I can honestly tell you that the money will come relatively quickly if you study the right stuff and do the right things. Check out my getting started page on my website to grab my free ebook with this information in it. Literally though, too much obsession on the money and you're gonna limit your progression. Remove that obsessive cloud and continue to analyze where you're at in your career and where you wanna go, then do the things required to get there. It's easy. Question of the day, which of these misconceptions have you heard? Are there others that I didn't mention? Let me know down in the comment section below. This video was a fun exercise of busting some of the common misconceptions or myths that people think about cybersecurity. Remember that not everything that you hear about cybersecurity is accurate or truthful, but if you do the right things, then you can absolutely do well for yourself. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.